Hey y'all, Midnight Ice. My friends and family called me Mo, and I was feeling this proud when I walked in the door, so relax, enjoy the show. I'm about to give you a piece of ice and send you home on some more. I'm in the book today, yes, I'm in the book. I got a new piece called uh, Abstract Colors of My First Experience. Everybody got experience, some wish not to talk about their experiences while well, I'm sharing mine today. So do not be judgmental until I'm done, please. <laughs> I walked through the door and my heart searched for you. There she is, she walked in the back smiling, grabbed me, hugged me tight, kissed my cheek and called me her boo. She makes me feel warm. I love her style, her smell, her charm. She makes me want to take care of her, so I ran her bath water. And afterwards, I lotioned her feet and combed her hair till she fell asleep. And as she lay there, all I can do is think of new ways to please her. I would do anything for this woman. And her soft, pale pink walls invited me in and still didn't see me come. You would think I would be lost and not know what to do, but never doubt the skills of true love is something to prove. Your walls beg for my touch. Your walls enticing, inviting, I'm writing my name on your walls. I'm claiming your walls. There's no shame in me and your walls. I got so lost inside of wanting to please you that upon your walls I bestowed multicolored rainbows with my abstract love. I artistically designed pictures of life with me and you in gold, green, yellow, and blue, and many other hues. I created images so delectable that let's face it, even you would taste it too. I call it a meal, fit for a king, made for a queen, designed by a princess. With my creative abilities, I offer only my best and nothing less. Who would have thought that my encounters with your walls would create a backlash? When my love had awakened, she beat my ass. Grandma did not play about her freshly painted pink walls. I just wanted to make <laughs> my name on one, two, threes, and ABC series of us at the park, Burger King, Rainbows, and beyond. Then I got it again from my aunt and my mom for breaking my cousin's crayons. I was only five, but I loved the ground that my grandma, Catherine Thompson, walked on. Two experiences. One, never write on grandma's walls. Right. Two, if you can't please your grandma, you can't please nobody. Dang. <laughs> Damn thing. 